Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Joe with JAC Baseball Collector coming back at you with another video. Got a little midday rip here. It's Monday, uh, middle of the day. Probably going to post this later this evening. And uh, what I've got here is a little 2021 Topps Chrome Update Series. Um, these have been really good in my opinion. I've noticed a lot of people pulling a lot of nice stuff. Um, the odds are fairly long. You can see the odds on the back there. I don't usually show them, but for the sake of a product like this, they're you know, pretty long. Your fractors are 1 in 116. Autographs are something like 1 in 72. Yeah, 1 in 72. Um, so there's a bunch of, you know, good stuff, though, that I've been seeing coming out of this product. Uh, so we will check it out. We'll try to get this back up here in the background. Give us a little backdrop here. Um, but yeah, I've watched a lot of other folks' videos, and I've seen some nice stuff coming out of, coming out of here, like I said. Uh, the only downside to this product that I will say this year is that it is... $50, which, you know, these are, you know, kind of mega box format. So a little bit different. Oh, right off the top, we got a nice Jared Kelenic to start us off. Um, but yeah, this is more kind of a mega box format than a blaster box. So I would expect it to be a little bit more, um, but definitely would be able to feel a little bit better about it if it was more in that maybe $40 range than $50. But, you know, this is state of the state of the market, state of the hobby right now. Um, so, you know, you just eat it and you hope you get something nice. So we got a Taylor or Tyler Wells. You get one of these purples in every pack. It's not a, uh, not numbered or anything. You get a purple in every single pack. Teoscar Hernandez. Those are the all-star game inserts. Those are all refractors. And then a Marcus Simeon. So yeah, I did pick up two of these, um, you know, hoping to get something pretty nice out of at least one of them. Maybe a little bit of color, maybe an auto. Um, last year, out of Chrome Update, I pulled a nice Yachty Molina refractor numbered to 250. There's that old Tyler Wells again. Brad Hand is our purple, and then a Lance Lynn. So we're off to a decent start with the Jerry Kalanick in the very first pack. That's his base on uh, his base rookie card, not his rookie debut, which is pretty nice. Let's see what we got here. There's Brad Hand again. Rosario, Rosario again in the purple. And then a Khalil Lee rookie card. So I hope that, I think we saw, we've seen two Brad Hands. Maybe the other one was a purple. Can't remember. I just hope we don't see a bunch of duplicates. I've noticed that happening. Yep, there we go. Look at that. Doubling up on Andrew Benintendi. We got the 70 years of tops, uh, what is this one called? Platinum Players uh, die cut insert of Whitey Ford from my Yankees. That's pretty cool. And then a Loken Gilbert rookie card. That's not a bad one either. We'll see if we get some sort of funky collation here where we get a bunch of cards duped up like that. Let's see. Yep, same thing here. The purple and the regular in the Jamison Tayon. A nice black gold of Clayton Kershaw. And then a rookie debut of Joey Bart. It's not a bad one at all. All right, we are halfway home. The Kalanick is definitely the biggest thing we've pulled thus far. See what we got going on here. We got Steven Matz, a Kai Tom, another Steven Matz, uh, purple, and then an Esteban Floreal, rookie debut. We'll give him a little bit of love up on the showcase. You know, one of the guys in the uh, Facebook groups, the Professor Collector groups, Noah, nice guy, always comments and watches the videos. He's a, he's a Floreal collector, fellow Yankee fan. So we'll shout out to no on that one but definitely some uh some funky collation here i bet you we're gonna see oh nope a different guy we got uh jorge mateo here we got the kai tom another one the same guy that we had a rookie of in the other pack kevin gassman and then a kiebert ruiz debut with a kevin gassman autograph or um all-star game rather not autograph all right, three packs to go. Definitely seems like we got ourselves an interesting box here. Let's see if we're going to double up on these purples. Adamus. Oh, there's a nice key Brian Hayes. I'd like to see a double of that one. No, it's Jorge Mateo. Another guy we saw early uh, in an earlier pack. Evan White debut and a nice key Brian Hayes uh, rookie debut card. So that's not a bad one. Definitely not a bad one. Let's see if we can get him over here in the shot. 
Don't complain about that. So we got Kellenic and Keep Brian off to the side there. Floreal on the other side. Would love if we uh, snuck in a Key Brian Hayes purple. There's a nice Clark Schmidt rookie debut. Shea McClanahan debut. Willie Adames, we saw him and his, his base in another pack, and then a nice Nick Gordon rookie. So we're definitely, uh, you know, picking up some some decent rookies here. I will. It definitely is weird Palacio, though. I know I've said it like 20 times already in this video, but it is weird how you see a guy in a pack, either in the same pack or, you know, one pack before, and then he's the purple in the next pack. It's just a little, a little strange how they did that. There's a nice Andrew Vaughn rookie card. Oh, there we go. Nice purple coming up. Coming up next. We got the Andrew Vaughn. We'll get him up there. Definitely become a fan of Vaughn's. Hope he can become a nice little power hitter. And then next we had the Key Brian Hayes. So very nice doubling up on that. We'll bring Floriel down. And there goes off of the back <laughs> off the back of my table there. Um, so we'll put Key Brian in the background. Kershaw and a Luis Patino. So definitely not too shabby. I mean, we got the Floriel couple of these uh, platinum player die cuts and then you know a bunch of rookies gordon patino white we have the nice mateo in the purple ruiz bart we had a, this is a ni pretty nice kershaw kershaw box with a couple of inserts gilbert the whitey ford and then even though my my stand there fell off the back of the table we had uh key brian hayes dual key brian hayes action actually in the rookie debut the purple of the base the andrew vaughn debut very nice and then the very first card of the entire break was the uh, probably the best of the bunch. We had the Jared Kalanick Chrome rookie card. Definitely could not complain about that. Expecting big bounce back things out of that guy this year. So that'll be it for today, folks. Um, thanks for sticking around, watching as always. We'll be back at it later in the week with a little probably throwback Thursday action. Um, and then next week I want to do some, you know, prospect uh, prospect themed rips. So I've got some Bowman draft that I finally picked up. I've got some contenders, um, you know, a few kind of like the prospect based products. I picked up a nice box of pro debut that I found for a good, a good price at my LCS. So stuff that's been out for a little bit that I haven't gotten into any of myself yet. So, um, probably do a, you know, a three way, uh, next week with, with those three products and do a little prospect theme. All right. Thanks guys. Thanks for sticking around. Thanks for watching. Uh, we're inching up closer to that 250 mark. So please hit that subscribe button. If you haven't already, we'll do a nice little giveaway at that point. Uh, hit the thumbs up, comment down below, let me know what you think of this product this year. And um, yeah, I'll be back. I'll be back on Thursday and I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.